Hey guys, don't you just love YouTube drama? It looks like Hug Now has filed a false DMCA on my video, White Trash Atheist. Instead of sending me a private message asking that I possibly remove it, he's decided to say nothing and to take the false DMCA route instead. The hilarity of that action is the result of this video. Now you get to watch it again, sped up, with an added laugh track, and mirrored by other YouTubers as I know many of you will be more than happy to help the guy out with a little extra promotion via a mirror. Let the lulls continue. So, you know, back a few years ago, I sort of had no label for myself when I was not part of the Catholic Church anymore. And I was just living on my own. And I kind of went to sleep at night, not even knowing what I was, because I wasn't religious. I wasn't an atheist. I wasn't an agnostic. I was just kind of like... I don't know what the fuck you would call me. But I did see a bunch of atheist videos and atheist websites and uh, people that made an effort to say they were an atheist. They had that label. And my first impressions were, were not good. It was a bunch of tattooed, uh, pierced, heavy metal listening stereotypical atheists, you know, like smoking cigarettes and they seem to really live a very poor lifestyle. And I'm making this video kind of tongue-in-cheek, but also I'm quite serious that this was my first impression. I do have a bit of snobbery about myself. Um, I don't generally trust people who are constantly sucking on a cigarette and showing their tattoos and wearing no shirt and they have like death metal music favorites and that's all they listen to and they even have things like shirts that say that they're satanists I found a lot of those people were atheists so I kind of made a judgment and I found a lot of the atheists were quite stupid, like they, they didn't have any higher education. Like they were smoking all, all the time like Coughlin 666 was. I didn't know Coughlin 666 channel back then. You know, I'm talking about like 10 years ago when I wasn't really on YouTube. It was more like just finding people on web forums and stuff like that. Um, like, you know, discussion forums about certain things. PHP programmers. Dumb programmers. <laughs> uh, C++ plus plus programmers, C programmers. Yeah, you know, you click on their website and you find out, oh, here's another atheist. Oh, he's got tattoos. <laughs> oh, he's wearing a uh, white trash type clothing. Uh, shirtless shirt, or a sleeveless shirt, you know, muscle shirt, tattoos, has his shirt off, sucking on a cigarette talking about how he got his latest piercing and I really didn't understand this whole uh, atheist thing because atheist thing. see I wasn't coming across the intellectual atheists like Richard Dawkins you know like Richard Dawkins is not the type of guy who you'd think would have tattoos with his shirt off sucking on a cigarette in a sleeveless shirt or you know without a shirt listening to death metal music. That's not the type of person that Richard Dawkins is. So I am going to admit a bit of snobbery here that when I first saw atheists like 10 years ago on the internet, I really thought that they were quite stupid. I didn't think that their rejection of religion was stupid. I just thought that they were stupid. Um, and mainly the ones that looked like white trash. I'm sorry if I'm in insulting any of you. You're so insulting. Uh, the white trash look is like the coffin 666 look where you're sucking on a cigarette, you know, you've got a muscle shirt on, or you've got no shirt on, and you've got all these tattoos, and you're not really concerned about your, your looks that much. Um, I, I'm really sorry to say this, I'm kind of being a snob here, but... No! That's not the type of atheist Richard Dawkins is. Well, I guess my point is that I 
find that these people that use the atheist word tend less to be people like Richard Dawkins, and they tend more to be these white trash types. And I don't think that that does the atheist community very good, you know. If you've got a bunch of high school dropouts or college dropouts that have tattoos that listen to death metal music, that don't wear shirts and that wear sleeveless shirts, I don't think your movement is going to be taken seriously. Now, if you've got a bunch of people like Richard Dawkins, you know, intellectuals, they're not constantly sucking cigarettes, and they're not... They don't have, like, tattoos, and they don't go out of their way to show their tattoos, and they don't go out of their way to show their arms and their chest, and... I, j I don't know how to put this. I just... I, I really think that the atheist so-called community, the type of people that are attracted to that sort of a label, they seem to be these tribal white trash types. I never really wanted to associate with a bunch of death metal white trash. I would much rather associate with some snob. Like you? Some educated snob like Richard Dawkins. And even him, I find I find his tone of voice is kind of annoying, you know. I guess Sam Harris is the type of person that I would associate with. And you know, again, Sam Harris, he's not the type of guy who's got his shirt off, that's got tattoos, that's got piercings everywhere. And Sam Harris is not the type that would... He's not sucking cigarettes all the time, and he's not... He just doesn't seem like a white trash type person, you know? And... I guess Christopher Hitchens, he's kind of an alcoholic, so he fits in more. But I still don't see Christopher Hitchens as a, sort of a white trash... A white trash with... I don't see Christopher Hitchens as white trash who's going to go around with his shirt off and showing his tattoos and showing his piercings, his latest body art. <laughs> I guess I am a snob then, sorry. Hey guys, don't you just love YouTube drama? It looks like Hug Now has filed a false DMCA on my video, White Trash Atheists. Instead of sending me a private message asking that I possibly